In this video, we'll be going over how to download Cosmographia and set up your Cosmographia environment variable so that you'll be able to launch Cosmographia with one simple command like so. To download Cosmographia, the first thing you'll want to do is to go to the NAIF website and to find it, you can Google Cosmographia NASA and in the link here, we can see naif.jpl.nasa.gov. We go here, Spice Enhanced Cosmographia Downloads, and then pick your operating system. So for Cosmographia, they added the most amount of functionality to the Mac OS X version, and that is what we'll be using in the series. The Windows version does not support the Python scripting portion of the program, but does still accept JSON config files. So we'll be showing how to load JSON files manually in Windows, but the more advanced topics will require Python scripting and therefore OS X or Linux. Once you're finished downloading, you can go to the Cosmo installer. This wizard will come up, continue. By default, it goes in your home directory. You can change that if you'd like. For the extras, you don't necessarily need them, but for these examples, these some of these actually include the CAD models for the spacecraft, so we find that useful. Continue if you accept the license, and then you're ready to install. Once you have Cosmographia installed, you can launch it with all its default parameters by calling its executable directly. So starting from the home directory, we can go Cosmographia 4.0, Cosmographia.app, contents. In this case, we're using Mac OS and Cosmographia just like that. And it'll open up the GUI to a view of the solar system. For these animations, we use environment variables to locate the Cosmographia executable and the repository for where we keep all the files. For example, here is a bash script that we use for the rocket launch scene in the introduction video, where we use environment variable Cosmographia and Cosmo demos. So then we can simply run that scene by taking out Vim and just directly calling that bash script, opens everything up, and we'll begin the scene like that. set these environment variables via the export command in bash. So right now if we say echo cosmographia, it's nothing. So we want to set that environment variable by saying export cosmographia is equal to the path to it. In this case, we'll use an absolute path. Cosmographia, the same thing as we did before, app contents, Mac OS in this case, and cosmographia like that. So now if we say echo cosmographia, we have that. And if we just say cosmographia, it will go ahead and now open up Cosmographia. It's most convenient to put these commands in your bash RC or bash profile so you don't have to worry about them every time you open up a new terminal session. So in this computer, it's in the bash RC file. So if we go ahead and open that up, scroll past the custom functions, we see a Cosmographia command exactly as it was previously. And also this Cosmo demos is going to be the repository on GitHub where we're going to put all the scripts that we use for all the tutorials. That's it for this video. And in the next one, we will be walking through the different types of JSON config files that Cosmographia expects and how to use Python scripts to control the scenes. So let us know if you have any questions or comments about this video, and we'll see you in the next one.